good evening uh, everybody and uh, today in the second class so uh, without uh, more talk we can directly enter to the subject uh, today we have to discuss uh, some preparations so generally uh, i will tell you how to prepare and i will show you how i am preparing uh, so uh, in between you can uh, um do you if you have any idea better than what i am doing you can share that also and i am not uh, i am not only telling what is the way i am doing here it is the correct so everybody have their own idea so they can develop uh, so uh, while seeing these videos uh, you just um, go through it and uh, at last we can discuss yeah i will share my screen first we can we have we can start with preparation of kashaya first here uh this is uh, there are, i will show you the two types of uh, making of kashaya uh, one with the pressure uh, pressurized method that is um, we can make with a uh, cooker so it is very easy uh, and uh, uh, for the beginners uh, they can start with this and uh, uh, i will recommend the second one Uh, first one what i am showing now that is also good even though uh, the second one is more uh, preferable and uh, for if you have small clinic or such as things uh, i think this way is better uh, can you see my, uh, see my screen yes doctor we can see yeah the, uh, actually whatever the kashaya we can make here i uh for the preference and uh, uh i just show you the how dashmula kartreya kashaya making and another one is amardhotra kashaya uh, whatever the kashaya is no matter um, in this method all kashaya we can make so for example you can go with this so this is a dashmula kashaya and uh, here dashmula shunti maricha pipli we have to take equal parts and uh, the preparation of kashaya preparation is this method one while showing this video i will explain you so you have to take 250 grams of uh, kashaya dravya uh, along uh, all the including all ingredients so uh, one thing you have to uh, keep it in mind it should not it should not be make fine powder uh this like chips or uh, it is a crush you have to crush the raw material that's all uh, before uh, crushing this all the raw material has to be uh, washed and cleaned and you have to dry well then only you have to make like this and uh, this way only you have to crush the drugs or otherwise uh so many uh, starch if the shunti or something they are having more starch it will easily enter into the kashaya and kashaya become very thick so you have to make uh, loose potli like this this is uh, dr lakshmi she is my wife uh and uh, she will demonstrate you and uh, you have to make like loose potli and uh, keep it in uh, the pressure cooker so you have to take 3.5 liters of water and the potli is placed inside a pressure cooker uh, you can directly add into this uh, without potli but 
that makes some uh, accidents uh, sometimes that uh, pressure nozzle will uh, struck by the our ingredients so better to uh, make a portly and uh, you have to cook in that i will give you the uh, video uh, without explaining sometimes you will have some doubts that's why and place the pressure cooker like that and uh, boil and wait up to 20 numbers of whistles mostly all kashaya you can keep up to 20 numbers of whistle so and after that uh, take out the potli it is very simple i will show you uh, more than uh, if the video should not uh, go long uh, more than 10 minutes all the videos which is i made uh, less than 10 minutes so put it in it and uh, boil for uh, 15 minutes without uh, closing why i am doing like this again we have to uh, open the potly and uh, put it in the uh, pressure uh, pressure cooker and we have to boil again and that kashaya uh, 15 minutes you have to make or otherwise uh, in the pressure ma- uh, pressure cooker method the kashaya will be more uh, watery uh, it uh, the uh, consistency it is more uh, very less very very less that's why we have to uh, open cook um, so uh that's why we have to open the potly and uh, we have to put the same ingredient in the uh in the same pressure cooker and we have to boil again for 15 minutes after that uh it should be open boil after that you have to filter like this and uh, take care uh, it should be very hygienic and uh, before doing this kashaya you have to wash your hands sometimes uh, if uh, there is chance of uh, fungal infection uh, if you are doing uh, washing uh, or uh, washing with uh, if you are not washing ha- our hands and after that you have to add preservative yesterday i told uh, the previous class i told you that uh, i am adding the liquid preservative 2.5 percentage so uh, within with the 250 grams of uh, raw material you will get up to uh 3 4 1 uh 2 2.5 liter kashaya uh, maximum or 2 liter kashaya and it is very effective uh, and uh, uh some scholars will tell the pressure cooker method is it is not up to the mark like that uh, in our practice i didn't see any difference this type also you will get the good result like that the kashaya is over the pressure cooker kashaya is over that's all the uh, we completed the first method of preparation and after that we have to label okay and uh, you understand that can i go the next one yes doctor yeah uh, this is the second method the extraction method this will take little bit uh, more time than the pressurized method so here i took the amrutotram kashaya the uh, formula like that uh, nagara or shunti guduji haridgi which is it will be in the uh one part uh, against the guruji uh, second uh, two part and against haridik it is three part the same thing you have to take 500 g uh, of kashaya dravya and you have to boil in 10 liters of water and reduce it to 5 liters so uh, here i am explaining extraction method that means Uh, we are extracting all the uh, active principles in the uh, ingredients uh, by uh, twice a time 
like uh, we will do first extra extraction uh, and the second extraction and we will uh, mix together the both extracts and reduced and uh, we can make kashaya and uh, you can see the we have to 10 liter to 5 liter we have to reduce 5 liter so after that uh, you can filter out the uh, kashaya ingredients so the first extraction is over here the same kashaya drivya uh, have to boil in one liter of water for 20 minutes so the whichever the um, uh, residual active principles which is struck in the uh, the that uh, drivyas uh, we can take it out so uh, same kashaya drivya plus one liter water and 20 minutes we have to boil then filter like this it is also very simple but a little bit uh, difficult than the pressure cooker method both kashaya will do the same result and uh, some uh, scholars uh, so here the first extra extraction already in that vessel and the second extraction uh, in the second vessel so we have to mix together the both extract see the same kashaya added to the previous kashaya uh, boil and reduce it to three liter so uh, and filter now it is uh, it reach up to the mark of three liter and then we filter so we will get the uh, three liter output and again we have to add the preservative and uh, this kashaya little bit uh, uh, thicker than the previous one and some kashaya drivyas depending on the kashaya drivyas uh, the consistency will vary So the second one also, uh, you understand a little bit. And uh, you, if you if you are watching again and again, you will get the good idea. And uh, you have to practice with this uh, with this manner. And uh, I am practicing the same way uh, last 12 years. I am getting the good result. Definitely you will have. And so many doctors are also practicing like that. And um, doctors, do you have understand this? or any doubt in this? Yes, doctor. Yeah, can I go next one? Yeah, doctor. If I am uh, very fast, fastly I'm going on or you can understand? No problem, doctor, you carry on. We will follow it, okay. Yeah, and the third, the next preparation is Hindu uh, Gantakrita. Okay. Yeah. Here, uh, the Indigata Gruda, I am giving the formula for 5 liters. Uh, here, we have to make Pootika. Dharu Dashamula, uh, that is the Kashaya drugs. Uh, what we have to understand, the Grida means it comes under Snehana. Mm. So our motive or our aim is the active principles from the <coughs> uh, ingredients. The active principles from the ingredients we have to uh, clearly transfer into the Grida. That is uh, the one and only method is uh, by uh, for transferring the active principle from the uh, ingredients it is the best method uh, what is which is described in uh, our uh, uh, our text uh, that is the very nice way other than this way uh, all all will be failed uh, i think uh, in this world uh, this is the very uh, scientific method to transferring active principle from the drugs uh, to the grida so uh, our aim the direct some ingredients or active principles will not transfer directly into the grida for that we have to make uh, kashaya then uh, we will transfer the um, uh, active in, uh, principles to the kashaya then from the kashaya to the 
ghee based medicine. So we have to take uh, 400 gram pudiga, uh, that is Savil Tuli in Malayalam, and Devadara, that is uh, 400 gram, and Dashmula, each 400 gram, so totally 4 kg. So the total uh, Kashayadriva, weight, weight of the total Kashayadriva will be 4 kg and 800 gram. So uh, we have to add 16 times of water um, against this um, uh, ingredients. So, uh, 4.8 into 16, uh, it will be uh, 80 liter. So, above ingredients plus 80 liter, then we, ha we have to make kashaya and reduce it to one fourth, that is uh, one 20 liter. So, uh, the water um, soluble parts of the ingredients will come uh, into the kashaya and uh, we have to make a concentrated uh, up to 20 liter and then uh, the, for the increasing the potency we are adding kalka so these are the pipili pipili mula chavya chitraga nagara and saindhava so uh, all will be take we have to take 70 gram so total 420 gram and the, here the base material is uh, gritha 5 liter uh, and the dravadravya is um, cow's milk uh, that is the same amount of uh, grida, so 5 liter. Okay. And uh, these are the uh, kashaya, kashaya dravya. I am showing you the dashmula, which is I am uh, washed and uh, uh, kept as uh, drying in sun in my terrace. And uh, this is Dashmula, the 10 drugs you can see. And I also in included the, the Devadara and Pudiga uh, uh, in this. Uh, but I can't show you the separate one. Uh, separately, that three drugs, uh, already that mix, uh, while taking, it is already mixed. Uh, here the... Uh, in, uh, another drugs, uh, Kalkadravyas and... Uh, and we have to crush, already I told you, don't uh, crush uh, uh, in the powder uh, or you have to crush uh, like this. So the kashaya started boiling and reduced to the 80 liter. We have to add 80 liter water and uh, uh, we have to reduce it to 20 liter. I'm doing like that. And uh, the kashaya filtered, this is the uh, 20 liter kashaya that kashaya filtered and uh, added in the uh, pan in the previous class i showed showed you that uh, this is my and uh, this is gritha is added the five liters of gritha added and uh, keep boiling and uh, this is uh, half kg of uh, kalka added and uh, continue the boil. Then wait for some time. And it is keep boiling. And uh, when it reaches Mrutubhaga, uh, we have to add 5 liters of cow's milk. The farm, uh, nearby home, uh, there is a farm. The pure coconut milk, uh, cow, um, pure uh, cow milk is available. Then uh, we are adding. Uh, within within uh, some time, you will, uh, it will reach the Mrudubhaga. Mrudubhaga means the first paga. Uh, it contains, uh, the, there will be water and uh, uh, the ingredients and the krida. There is more uh, quantity of water there will be. The evaporation uh, is very less in this in this stage and we have to keep boil. And Mridubhaga we are commonly used for nasya and other thing. So uh, in the Mridubhaga you can see um, the grida and everything will be clear. Uh, before this paga you, it will be a, uh, like a tea. You can't uh, separate uh, the drugs and the grida. 
and in the Pratubhaga, it is uh, you can uh, see the Vilepana of uh, Kalkadrivya in the spatula. Here, the Bhaga changed a little bit and it's not in, entered into the Madhyama Bhaga. So you can see when the Madhyama Bhaga, uh, the Varti like it will be. So uh, now you can, I will show you how, uh, why I, it is not attained Madhyama Bhaga. The Kalka, which is very soft in nature and uh, while pressing in, in between uh, thumb and index finger, uh, it is melted like that. And now the Madhyama Bhaga attained. Here, uh, the, most of the water content is evaporated. Still, there will be water content. Uh, so, in the Madhyama Bhaga, if you are uh, pressed in between index and thumb finger, the Kalka will be uh, very uh, tough in nature. Uh, and your fingerprints will be uh, imprinted on the Kalka. And uh, it will be uh, mostly, we can compare with the uh, wax-like uh, structure, the hard wax. So this paga, in this paga, we have to use for the vasti and pana. So you can see, I will show you. Uh, see now, the uh, in this paga, you can uh, make a ball-like structure uh, with this. Yeah, and uh, the paga of grida, it should not enter into the uh, ghara. In uh, actually, in the madhyama paga, you have to filter. Uh, that is the um, uh, sneha paga or grita paga for uh, for the medicine. Uh, why I am uh, just immediately uh, just after the madhyama paga filtered because uh, sometimes if you uh, filtered in the madhyama paga, uh, there is a there will be chance of rancidity. So uh, it should not enter the ghara paga. Before that, we have to. Uh, filtered out or otherwise uh, if you keep uh, for uh, six months or one year there is chance of uh, rancidity and uh, the guida will be useless so that's why i may i made uh, immediately just after madhima bhaga i filtered so you can see see that just immediately after the uh, Bhaga, it will be like this. And uh, you can press it out, filtered and uh, press it out. Yesterday I show you the equipments that without any, without, uh, any help of uh, other persons, we can directly filter out the, uh, how we are uh, filtering in the cloth the same uh, uh, in the same way you can filter in this ss uh, made filter that uh, net will be very tight in nature so uh, it will filter all the um, ingredients or the kalkas so and uh, this manual press i uh, showed you and like this you can press it out and i will show you how when the paga is correct, you can find out even after the <coughs> uh, seeing kalka after pressing this. So you have to put the uh, kalka for excusing. I am showing you again. And you have to tight, tighten the <coughs> things and uh, it will be comes through this way. And uh, here you can see the kalka will be like this. So this is the correct paga. Even after pressing out the kalka, uh, it will be like that. And uh, we got output of uh, five liter, uh, or I think it and uh, four point eight liter. We got output. Some of the uh, kalka will be uh, absorbed by uh, some of the uh, product will be absorbed by the kalka. So we can't get uh, exactly five liter up to. Uh, 4.8 or 4.9 it is much better and you understand that little bit yes doctor yeah 
then we can go to the another preparation uh, that is dashmal haridagi just given uh, me as a task and this is the dashmal haridagi lekhya preparation uh, lekhya is a very easy but uh, we should uh, very uh, accurate in the nature while making this i will show you the how it is making uh, and the dashmula hari dagi lehia i made i made 24 kg uh, this is the 24 kg formula and dashmula each 1.5 kg and uh, so total 15 kg make kashaya in 205 liters of water and reduce it to 15 52 liter that is the 16 part of water and reduce it to 1 by 4 and hari dagi here we have to take uh, hari dagi and uh, 5 kg of hari dagi and boiled in water and reduced in that pan also and uh, that boiled hari dagi uh, have to uh, dried in the sun and make a very fine powder Uh, it is the we can use as a prakshaya gadrivya and some uh, scholars in some uh, textual reference i saw that uh, the haridagi have to uh, while making the ebo dashmala kashaya you have to uh, put it in a potly uh, with the haridagi and keep it in there keep it there uh, when the kashaya is uh, boiling at the same time haridagi also will uh, boil in the uh, that is the different method uh, if you are making like that uh, after uh, that uh, um, uh, boiled haridagi for grinding it is very difficult and uh, uh, while uh, taking that lehia you will feel some uh, particles in your mouth so uh, after boiling the haridagi you can you can't make uh, perfectly paste so that's why i made uh, i just boil the hari dagi and uh, uh, keep it in the sun uh, and the water should not uh, it should not be wasted and uh, all the water has to be dried uh, within the pan uh, with the hari dagi only and that hari dagi has to be sun dried and um, make it very fine powder uh, and here the jaggery is 15 kg and it is melted in ebo kashaya and uh, it is filtered okay uh, and the honey you have to take 2.5 liter here the prakshepa churna tokela patra uh, shundi maricha pippali and yavakshara that is uh, trijataka trijada and uh, trikadu and yavakshara next uh, you can see the same uh, dashmula already i showed you while making uh, kashaya i took uh, the bulk purchase of both of the uh, dashmula kashaya uh, dashmula gadatra kashaya and uh, here the dashmula haridagi i uh, made a bulk purchase with that so you can see the uh, how this is the 5 kg uh hari dagi i uh, after cleaned and washed and have to boil and uh, um, it is sun dried and this uh, hari dagi has to be make very fine powder these are the kashaya dravya just i showed you this is the prakshaya dravya the seven ingredients trigadu trichada and yavakshara and this is a patra now today i wrote uh, just uh, um, bottom of the screen ela maricha and yavakshara and and uh, this is the uh, kashaya boiling kashaya boiling and uh, have to reduce it to 50 liter it is getting boiled and reduced and this kashaya has to be filtered and take out the kashaya i i filtered and kept it here the filtered kashaya is 50 liter and i transferred into the pan in this pan we, you have to melt the jaggery uh, doctors always has to take care 
definitely the jaggery contain uh, some dust uh, and some mud uh, and uh, some stones may be there so uh, each and if you are adding the jaggery into the kashaya definitely you have to filter or otherwise the final product will have some uh, mud or stones sand something so you have to melt uh, by uh, boiling so it will uh, melt easily and uh, i filtered out and uh, keep it boiling that uh, uh, the filtering part i didn't show you but uh, at that time i can't record that uh, thing and wait for here the bhaga of the lehya is tandu bhaga so tandu bhaga means uh, if you uh, in this kashaya whenever the uh, water content is more you won't get the uh, tandu bhaga so it will break that tandu will break i will show you clearly uh, before that just uh, i explain you so when the water content reducing 